Welcome survivors to Mikey's Gaming Oasis. Today we are going to be answering your questions from our last video about the updated custom cosmetics UI menu. Uh, the response from the video was completely unexpected. Uh, I personally as a small creator have never had so many comments in one video so quickly. So it was very refreshing and uh, it was, I was glad that uh, I was able to help a lot of you in understanding this uh, new UI update from Wildcard. However, it has generated a lot of questions as well. And to help us answer those questions, I reached out to uh, Sandy underscore double zero. I'm sure you all have heard of him. I'm actually fairly confident some of you have his mods downloaded already. So he's gonna help us go through some of these questions that have popped up multiple times uh, in the comments of the previous video to answer them and get a perspective from the uh, mod creator's point of view on the new UI and how they feel, how what he's seen and how he feels about it uh, and hopefully be able to help you understand it more. Now, as always, if you have any comments, any questions regarding the content of the video, or you have suggestions on our next video, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit that like button if this video helped you. And also, there are chapters in this video to make sure it's easy for you to navigate to just pop right to what you are looking for or any burning questions you may have and add to your viewing enjoyment. So without further ado, let's get started. So we're here with Sandy, uh, one of the prolific modders in the art community and several other gaming communities that will remain unnamed for this video. Uh, I've spoken to Sandy a couple times regarding the content of this video regarding the update to the cosmetics tab and what it is what he's seeing on the modder side and i thought it would be a good idea to bring him in and have him help answer some of the questions and some of the common issues that have been seen since the first video was put out a week ago when the cosmetics update went through and the ui and all that so sandy thank you for joining us how are you doing i'm great thank you for having me well, uh, I know you're a busy man, uh, and I appreciate you carving out uh, some time to help our fellow, fellow survivors uh, and answering some questions here. So I sent you a couple questions ahead of time, and, you know, they're, some of them are weird. Some of them are kind of niche issues um, on the... And a lot of them are kind of, they run the gamut of issues on the, from the modders perspective. And I know you help out individuals like, uh, like Aaron Longstaff with his mods and you've helped teach him a lot. Um, what have you been seeing on the modder side with this new UI update and how do you feel about it? Uh, initially, I, I wasn't a big fan of it, but once I actually started playing with it, it seems like it's a, uh going on the right direction basically what it's giving you the option is to be able to just craft the item and drag it into your inventory so you don't have to struggle with having to stick it on something else uh, which is what a lot of people were having issues initially because they did not understand that if you were trying to let's say skin a um, crafting station you have to use the house icon and uh, a lot of people were trying to do it with that whole uh, workaround that you can skin a uh, <clears throat> the frontier path kind of thing, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, so they wouldn't kind of like interlope with each other. Uh, but this new system just allows you to craft the item itself, the skin itself, and you can just skin anything that you use. And it's uh, especially helpful with my skins, which I have an all-in-one system that if you just hover over anything, it'll skin it instead of having to swap for each individual item. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And, and your system is actually uh, one of the reasons why in my earlier uh, mod 
review videos actually continuously scored high for ease of use. Uh, you didn't have to go through 16 different skins for one piece of structure. Uh, I didn't need to change my skin if I wanted to do a door or a wall or a sloped wall. It was just that one skin. So do you think with the UI update for the cosmetics, that's going to make that a more streamlined process for the for not just the end users, but as well as the modders themselves? Yes, definitely. I can see a lot of benefits to it. It's just a matter of people learning how to use it. It's a, it's a bit iffy at the beginning, but once you get the hang of it, it's, it's a nice and easy. Okay. So um, I'm going to go through a couple, some of the questions from the uh, comments left in the, in the first video uh, on the UI. Um, if you don't, if you can help with these, great. If not, I understand not everybody's going to have all the answers, right? I mean, we sometimes we're going to have to go through multiple sources to get and figure out that right answer. Correct. Yes, that's correct. Uh, so Let's give it a go. All righty. So <laughs> Anthony Munns, Anthony Munns slow says the new tabs mess up inventory. They take up room on our on your weight, I found this yesterday. Half of my inventory wouldn't show. Uh, now I know Wildcard has just released an update to the UI to the UI update, stating that they've made it to where it doesn't, it no longer shows weight. So it won't uh, when you create a uh, a skin, it's not going to add to your weight anymore. And they've they're they're working on the fix with some items not showing up. Uh, in the meantime, is there any recommendations you would give to users that are having this issue? Well, first of all, the one of the big issues is I know it's uh, when somebody dies and respawns, they end up uh, getting all the skins over again, which inadvertently causes you to go overweight because you get all the skins again and again and again, you know? Absolutely. So the, the big tip right there that I've been... Uh, Hearing is for people to just uh, turn off default survivor skins. I don't remember what it is exactly that it's called. Just in your settings, you'll be able to just turn it off so they they don't keep spawning in every time that you respawn. Okay, so and then, uh, well, but I've heard that um, a lot of the issues have been fixed by Wildcard now, so you don't have to worry too much about, like you said, the weight itself. The I think the only issue that's happening now is that it uh, multiplies over and over the skins itself. Uh, I guess maybe people are either pressing uh, craft all or craft 100 or something. I don't know exactly what's going on there. But basically, it fills the inventory so you're, all the slots are taken. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And it gives you that little black weight weight thing. So yeah, it... uh, I know Wildcard, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I know Wildcard is, um, has worked on the issue a lot. I haven't actually tested it since the last update, but uh, supposedly that issue is fixed. But it's just something to keep into consideration. So the next person is Hess under uh, Hess double zero eight. Um, this individual states that with Astios Cosmetics, uh, I know you have to physically have stuff in your inventory in order to use it. For example, the pike, the skin, to skin it, the swords and the shields. Uh, he does have a question here. I mean, he's trying to help the other survivors, which is great, which they, which is one hundred percent correct. You have to have what you're skinning in the inventory, in your personal inventory, if it's an item that can go in your personal inventory. If you're skinning a dino, you have to be in that dino's inventory and go into cosmetics, correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Yeah, the thing the thing you do have to take into account with the Astros skins, I don't remember exactly how to say it, um, okay. is that they are engram. They are engram uh, item skinned. So they're, they're not your typical skins that you would see in a cosmetic window. They are an actual item, per se. So um, they, you have to kind of treat it a little different. For those. Okay. Well, he does have, he also has a question in here for, uh, he says, question for any, none of my players on my server can see the ASIO skins, but he can. Any idea why I, why I'm the server? owner slash admin and i don't think that's the reason any ideas 
Now, I think he's talking about the actual skin pack and not the as the 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 map, the Asios map. I think he's referring to the actual skin pack in here. I actually have that. Um, it's the armor set. Uh, why do you think that might be the reason that his that his server, the individuals on his servers aren't uh, seeing it? Could it be an issue with a dynamic download? Yeah, that'd be exactly it. Uh, sometimes, uh, for some reason, especially on consoles, the dynamic download doesn't want to kick in fully, especially if it's a bigger file. Uh, a lot of the times what needs to be done is needs to um, actually go in and remove the mod itself if they haven't downloaded it. And um, I mean, if they have it downloaded, just go remove it and uh, restart your system and then uh, download it again. And that should typically fix it like 80% of the time, 80 to 90% of the time. Um, a lot of the issues with the dynamic system is that uh, Basically, that, that it doesn't always want to work. Uh, for some reason, for PC, it just is streamlined and it works perfectly. But when it comes to consoles, it, it always has issues. For example, with my uh, Quantum skins, initially when they came out, a lot of people were, were angry. And for good reason that they couldn't actually share it. They would buy the item, they'd skin something, and then nobody would be able to see it, which was kind of a big downside, you know, because that was a whole idea with me making skins for people and having them actually pay for it, that people were gonna be able to see it and uh, use it and be able to share what they actually built instead of just having a basic uh, wood structure, you know, wood house. Uh, absolutely. Uh, but but thank goodness, uh, after communication back and forth with Wildcard, they were able to, to figure out what the issue was and uh, they fixed it for the most part, it seems. Uh, here and there, some people still have the issue, but I have a set of instructions in my Discord that I just get them out, and usually one of those things will fix the, the issue for them. So when when you refer to removing the mod itself, the file, are you referring to the, the server owner removing it and re-downloading it into the server, or the individual survivor having to re-download it? even if they haven't downloaded it. So yeah, I am just want to get some clarification there. Okay, yeah, well, this typically is affected by skin, so it wouldn't have to be anything to do with the server itself, because like you, like you know, you can't add uh, custom cosmetics to servers or they will put them in loops. So that that's an issue that uh, people always come to me and be like, why is my server not starting? Why am I not able to? to use your skin and I'm like, you just download the mod and you can use it anywhere. Do not add it to server list because it will put you in a loop and it's not gonna work. So um, that's basically the issue with that. Okay, survivors, just to show you what Sandy was just talking about, if you are having issues with the skins not working or any particular mod, in that case, not working properly and uninstalling it and reinstalling it locally on your, through the game isn't working, if you're a PC user, you can go into your files and remove it from your system and then re-download it in ARC and then restart your system to make sure that it is the new stuff is put into it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to walk you through that step. Now, for as a caveat, for those console users, knowing that you can't go into your systems like PC users can, you will have to uninstall it from your system and then restart your system completely and then reinstall it and hopefully that'll fix the issue. You also wanna make sure that you have dynamic downloads enabled in your system, which was seen right previously during his talk in the video where it's in your advanced portion of your screen. So let's get started on showing you how to remove the item from your system. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your whichever drive you have that has your system files on. For me, it's my C drive. And then program files 86. Now, some of you may have it in your base program files. Mine are in program files 86. So I'm gonna double click on it, go into it, and I'm gonna go down to Steam right here. From Steam, I'm gonna go to Steam Apps. Open Steam Apps. Then I'm gonna go to Common. Then to Shooter Game. Oh, sorry, Arc Survival Ascended. 
Then shooter game. I'm going to go to binaries. Okay, right here. Win 64. Shooter game one more time. And then I'm going to go to mods. This is going to bring up this folder with just a number on it. Now, if you see that, you are in the right spot. What we're going to do here is we're going to open this up, and it's going to open up all your files for your mods. These are all the different mods I have installed onto my system. I have 180 mods in my system right now. Now, you notice they don't have names on it. There's two ways for you to see what those mods are. Okay, one is you can hover over it and it'll bring up the content box as you see here. And then the other way is to double click in the folder and see what's in that and it'll give you the name of the mod. For example, this one is the Love Evolved. Now I'm gonna go back. All I have to do to remove it is right click and hit the trash can button or delete. Once that's done, I would then restart my system and follow the steps that Sandy just explained to us. I hope that's helpful. So we kind of hit on this one already uh, with the first one because it, it kind of encompasses it. But uh, uh, STP South says, my cosmetics are full and getting copies of the same skins. All of my items are disappearing. Are you able to try and get a full cosmetic and all your gear and armor? So. One thing with full cosmetics, and I see this mis I see this uh, misuse a lot. I don't want to say error, but misuse a lot with full cosmetics. When you're looking at a full cosmetic skin for armor, you have to make sure that you're putting it on the chest piece. Uh, I've yet to see a cosmetic skin, a full cosmetic skin, that goes on a different armor piece other than a chest piece. So if you don't have a chest piece in your inventory or on your survivor, that skin isn't going to be visible. It's not going to be able to be used. Well, would you agree with that assessment there, Sandy? I uh, Yes, partially I would agree with it. Uh, because I actually just, uh, in a mod that's coming soon, I added them to the, the pet section. So for your chibi, instead of having a chibi, you're going to be able to equip the full body suit to to the chibi slot and instead of having to stick it to the torso this way let's say you have two sets of armor that you want to wear and kind of mesh together uh, so what i did with this one sorry is um the body suit itself is going to go in the pet slot and then you can still stack uh yes that is typically it you have to stick it in a torso piece okay so this one i've seen a lot and, I, and i've answered it uh in the uh in the text but just so that the world of the, our fellow survivors are aware uh the males 88 says uh i'm in the crap i'm in a station inventory or dino inventory if i open the cosmetics menu it breaks everything in the inventory it puts a red x on everything and breaks them so i get where the red x could, would scare you 100 percent Okay, making you think that your stuff's broken. You can't make the items or if your items here, but if I go to create, it create cosmetics, it changes. So you have to make sure you're in the right settings on the with the drop down menu as well as the right uh, tab in your cosmetics tab. Because if you're in the items inventory, okay, well, I don't have anything to really put on there. Because I'm not, it's I'm not going from my inventory. I'm going from the inventory of the smithy or item or dino that I'm in, and I don't have really anything to go onto this. So, for example, if I remove this skin, okay, and I come up here and I go like the smithy has cause has all these in here. These are all armors that are in there, okay. But if I go here and I say I want to do this guy, I can put it on the item that's in the smithy. And then when I go into the smithy, without going into the cosmetics, that item should be showing up. Oh, I can't because it still has a skin on it. I'm a silly bugger. Remove that skin, so that's there. So we're gonna go back into our cosmetics tab. So you see how it now shows the item can be used because it doesn't have a skin on it 
and it can get that skin put on there. Okay. Now, if you're trying to directly say, I know that if I go into cosmetics and I go to, what is one that I know has a skin for a vault? Let's go with here. And I say, I want to do this one. I'm going to throw that there. We're going to go to items, cosmetics. Oh, got to remove that skin. Sorry. Remove that skin. Create cosmetics. And I want to create this one here. And I go to item cosmetics. See how it won't allow me to, to use that there? Because it's in the smithy, it's not placed yet. So you, if you're trying to put the skin on an object that is placed or a structure that needs to be placed, it won't allow you to. You need to have that, play, that item placed before you put it on there. Correct? Yes, that's correct. Uh, so it's basically just a clear way of people knowing which ones will actually work instead of the way they had it before is that it would like kind of, gray out the icon mm -hmm. and uh, the the other the one that would work would be a little brighter you know absolutely so it's basically that but now they're making it a little more clear with the x just so you don't, you don't question it as much from the tracy how do i apply the skins so i know i've covered this a couple times but what you're going to do tracy is you're going to go to your you're going to go to your inventory you're going to go to your cosmetics Make sure you have the correct item selected in the drop down on your cosmetics on the left side of your menu and that it matches the cosmetics you have on the right side of your menu. Okay, so for example, this is a structure um, skin. I'm on a PC, so I'm going to hit the activation button for this skin. And then as you see, it removes it and I can put it back on. So it's a matter of going into that menu, your item menu, not your create cosmetics menu. You wanna to go to your item menu to use that cosmetics. Now, if you're making an armor cosmetic, as I showed earlier, so I'm gonna make this one here. I can take it and I can drag it directly on to that item and it'll be there, but if it's not on, if it's if it's not in your inventory here or on your person here you will not be able to place that armor same thing goes for saddles and items like that that go on your dinos it has to be in physically in your inventory or equipped to you i hope that answers your question uh tracy Thank you for watching, survivors. I hope this information was helpful and will assist you in your endeavors in using the new custom cosmetics UI. I want to put a special thanks out to Sandy for taking the time to sit down with me and answer your questions about the cosmetics as well as sharing with us what he has seen and what he thinks of the new UI for the custom cosmetics. If this content was helpful to you and enjoyable, please remember to like and share. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so, and we will see you again next time.